Welcome to Rebel Economics and our Economics 101 series, where we try to explain simply the concepts in economics. Today, we will talk about a topic that you might have heard about, the stock exchange. What is it, what are the risks, and what relationship has with the rest of the economy? But first, if you like short videos about economics, you should subscribe and check out some of our other Economics 101 videos right after this one. But let's get to it. What is the stock exchange? The stock exchange is nothing more and less than a market. Just like a market where you can buy your groceries, the stock exchange is a market where the buyers and sellers meet to exchange financial assets for money. The stock exchange generally refers to a market where buyers indicate their intent to acquire securities, shares or stock of a company, since they believe that these shares will go up in value and sellers respond to that desire of selling because they believe that the share will go down in value or they have a need of liquid cash instead of owning that stock. The concept of stock or share mean the same thing when considered in the context of the stock market. They are a piece of a company that entitles its holders to a piece of the profits of such a company and claims part ownership of it. Companies generally decide to sell their stock in the open stock market as a method to gain capital with relative ease. Buyers buy those stocks in an IPO or initial public offering because they believe that whatever they pay for them now is less than their future value. So, selling your stock in the market leads to cash for the company being offered, and from the perspective of the buyers, these securities are used as investment mechanisms to generate further wealth down the line. Now, it's important to mention that in the stock market, not only stocks are bought and sold, more complex financial instruments like ETFs, futures, and so on are also traded there, but those are topics for another day. It is important to point out that not every buyer or seller has the same strength to influence the price of a commodity in the stock market. Obviously, there are some very large players, sometimes called whales, that can single-handedly influence the price of a stock by either buying or selling with large amounts of capital. This means that Obviously, the stock market is not necessarily a fair representation of the value of a company and it's open to the ebbs and flows of interest and other aspects that might drive a company to go down in value without its fundamentals changing. Now, that was that from our side. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and consider subscribing to Rebel Economics for more Economics 101 videos. You can find some other videos on this series in your screen right now, like what is economics and what is capitalism. All questions that I find very interesting. So I will see you there.